So it's the CBI. Big get-together today. Three conferences being held by the CBI around the country. Keir Starmer giving a big speech. All the people you would expect to be there. And the CBI, of course, for those that don't know, represent the really big businesses. In many cases, effectively, multinational businesses, far more than their British businesses. They've always had a very, very powerful voice. They're responsible, in terms of employment, for about 8 to 9 per cent of the overall UK workforce. I've often felt their voice has actually been disproportionate to their size, but it's still there, and they're still important. And the other person that spoke of note today at the CBI was, indeed, the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson. Let's see how he got on. Uh, forgive me. Forgive me. Hands up anybody who's been to Peppa Pig World. <laughs> Not enough. I was, well, it's, it's fact, I was a bit hazy what I would find at Peppa Pig World, uh, but I loved it. And Peppa Pig World is, is very much my kind of place. Uh, it, 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 it has... Uh, a uh, very safe streets, uh, discipline in schools. Well, talk about my what the Farage moment. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Bumbling, stumbling, not in control of his brief or his detail in any way at all. Probably far more used to doing after-dinner speeches and sort of waving his arms around and ruffling his hair. But that looked amateur beyond belief. And then we moved on to what I thought there was... I don't know how you felt, but I thought something that was utterly cringeworthy. You see, not long ago, when Boris got up and spoke in that way, we all used to laugh. Well, with the Peppa Pig incident, it shows you that something has fundamentally changed in terms of this Prime Minister's standing. Because, Boris, we're not laughing now. We're really, really not laughing now. It isn't funny. Uh, and you sort of get the impression that the man doesn't really take the job of being Prime Minister all that seriously. I don't want someone who's dull as ditch water. I want someone with personality. But when somebody in public tries to be funny and it falls flat then that is a very serious problem. And this Prime Minister is in deep trouble. We talked with Annie Mirage earlier on, Conservative commentator and former advisor to the party about it. It's happening on all sides, isn't it? You know, whether it's the migrant crisis, whether it's the Owen Patterson uh, case, whatever it is, uh, the Prime Minister appears to be in trouble. And the U-turn on virtually everything. It's a case, really, I think, uh, that they've frankly become more like followers than they are leaders. And I've always said this, Boris is a great cheerleader, but is he a good leader? And that, I think, is where the question is. And some are beginning to make up their minds that he's not.